the seventh day was the day on which God rested. God has never left himself without witness to the truth. Never. Let me give you the most obvious uh, defense of the seventh-day Sabbath. There is an entire nation on the face of the earth that has kept the seventh-day Sabbath for thousands of years. Actually, the law was given directly to them that they might be custodians to give it to other people. I'm referring to the Jewish nation. And they know that the Sabbath is the seventh day from sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday. There's no argument that can overthrow that. Now, let's use some common sense and some honesty. The Christian world celebrates Easter on the first day of the week, Sunday, because the whole Christian world knows Christ rose on the first day. So Easter is not celebrated on Monday or on Saturday or on Wednesday. It is celebrated on Sunday, the day on which Christ rose. The Christian world also regards this thing called Good Friday the day on which Jesus died. Then the simple question is, what is the day that lies between the two? And that day is Saturday, the seventh day Sabbath. It is, you know, this issue of the Sabbath is not a difficult one. It just requires simple honesty and humility. It is not a difficult task to identify the day of rest. People say the calendar was changed. The calendar was not changed in the sense that the order of the days were changed. That has remained Sunday to Saturday from a memorial. And so the seventh the day on which God rested was the seventh day of the week, the one he requires of us to observe and on which we should avoid work. Now, the third part.